Hello, this is Mike here at Game From Scratch, and today we're going to show you a quick tip, and that is using Godot from the command line. Now, this isn't something many of you are going to need to do, but for some reason you don't want to fire up the editor. Um, say, for example, you were working on a book or a number of tutorials, and you just needed to make some quick samples, or say you were creating some tooling that you didn't necessarily want to run you know, the full editor to go ahead and do. How would you go about using just the command line, not firing up full proper Godot? Well, that's exactly what we're going to look at today. And it's actually really quite simple. It's very cool. Um, again, probably of limited use to many of you, but nonetheless, I thought I'd share it. This is something I'm using quite a bit, as I said, because I'm, I'm doing a lot of code samples, so I just need to run them to make sure that they work. But I don't need to be in or having Godot using up my battery when I'm out about on the, on the town or whatever, so it's nice to just invoke it on demand. So what you need first off is the Godot executable. Um, grab it from anywhere. If you've already installed Godot, you don't need to do anything at this point. Uh, but here it is for Windows. Um, this is basically just the executable you download from the website. I'm going to rename that to Godot. Now, the first things to keep in mind is what you're going to need to do to evoke Godot from the command line is specify its entire path. Now, in this particular case, I'm actually running in the same directory I'm going to be creating my example. So I don't need to invoke the entire path. But otherwise, what you'd need to do is if you put it in C colon slash Godot, you would have to do C colon slash Godot forward slash Godot dot exe and then the rest of the command. If you don't want to do that, one of the easiest ways to go about fixing that, if you're on Windows anyways, is go to your My Computer or This PC or whatever it's called in, in you know your particular version, go into Advanced System Settings, Environment Variables, and the one you're looking for is Path. And just come on in here and you can add it to the path to wherever the Godot EXE is. This will make it so that if you type Godot from the command line, uh, it will found, find it basically. So um, obviously that's a little bit different on uh, Linux or Windows. They all have the same ability, sorry, Linux or uh, uh, Mac OS also have the ability to specify a path, but the process is a bit different. But if you wanna be able to run Godot from anywhere without having to specify the entire path, go ahead and basically add it into an, as an environment variable and you are good to go. So now that we've got it, here is our um, directory. So you see here, I don't need to do the full path because Godot is right here, but if I did, it would just be basically like this, or since I've added it to my environment variable, just like that. So we're gonna need to run Godot, but first we need a couple of files. The first one we need is an engine.config file. So I'm just gonna go ahead and create one of those. I use Visual Studio Code. I've got it defined so that um, it will find it in my path anywhere I go. Uh, once again, using the same variable, uh, but it's very handy to run um, Visual Studio Code from the command line. But if you don't have Visual Studio Code or you're on a different platform, use whatever editor you want. And by the way, you can invoke Notepad this way as well. So just type Notepad and then engine.cfg. As you can see, it will fire it up, say, do you want to create it? And yes, you do. And really, honestly, that is it. We're done. So basically, we created an engine.cfg file. So that means that Godot knows that this is, in fact, an engine. Next up, we need to actually just go ahead and create our script. Again, you could use Notepad here. I'm going to use Visual Studio Code. Um, and we'll just call it, I don't know, test.gd. So I'm creating um, GD script like so. Now, your script needs to extend from scene tree. So we just do extends scene tree like so and i'm just going to implement the uh init function you know this is the function that's called when this code is created basically the constructor so func underscore init and hello cruel world and we are done so we basically we just created our um uh first project here we could you know we could do however we wanted so we could come in here and go var um Hello string equals hello cruel world. So as you see, it's it's just normal code. Um, executes exactly as you would expect. So we could also, you know, run a variable that way. So we're gonna go ahead and save that. Oops, like so. And then we come on back here. Now here's the key. We need to tell it the scene to go ahead and run. So we just do Godot dash s and then the script we just created. I think I called it test. Yeah, test.gd. And we run that guy and see no editor. Uh, it went ahead, created our window, our scene, so on and so forth. And you can see down here, hello, cruel world. So if you don't need to actually access the editor, you don't need it at all. Um, so you could go ahead, go this route. Uh, we can also do it, we can run it with a debugger with a dash D. And if for some reason you do want to open this guy up in the editor, you can use the dash E command. 
and that will fire up the full-blown editor. But if you want to just run Godot from the command line, uh, you can do it like this. And if you're creating a tool that you wanted to immediately exit, uh, well, we can do that. Uh, so we'll open back up our uh, test.gd here, and we could just throw in a quick command like so. And now our code will literally, so Godot-scene uh, test.gd, our code would run, do its thing, and exit, as you can see right there. So if you needed to create a Godot-based command line tool, you needed to you know, manipulate some project files, whatever, there are command line options available for you. So if you're the type of person that would rather not be in the editor, you want to do your coding in, uh, as you saw, I was using Visual Studio Code there, uh, you can. You basically do it command line this way. Now, another thing you might have noticed is I was getting completion in code, and this is actually very cool. Um, if you come into Visual Studio Code and you search for Godot under the extensions, you'll see there's actually a tool here called um, Godot Tools, which gives you a number of features. Syntax highlighting, uh, auto-completion, etc. So this actually makes uh, the two environments a great pair. And you can actually invoke Godot uh, directly from inside of Visual Studio Code. So if you want to do all of your development in using you know, GDScript, but want to work from a command line or want to work from tools such as Visual Studio Code, there is a great workflow available for you um, that you basically just saw right here. And now you can see I can come back, go down here to the terminal, and I could godot-s test.gd. Mm. Okay, so it needs its pathing setup right. But anyways, you can configure the tool so that it should work. Maybe it's being specific because this is PowerScript. Yeah. Anyways, you can you can ultimately get it configured so you can run your tooling directly from Visual Studio. So you don't need a separate uh, terminal window open such as this. Uh, it gives you an alternative workflow if that is your jam and you prefer to go that route. So like I said, this is mostly just for me so I can do like quick samples, run them without having to use the editor, without having the editor consuming extra battery power when I'm out and about on the road. I can boom, fire it off on demand and do most of my work directly in Visual Studio Code for writing up little small code snippets and samples. Uh, but you can take this full blown. You can make this your entire development uh, strategy if you really want. So if you weren't aware of it, Godot is totally runnable from the command line. Um, I think if you check the documentation, there's a couple more options available out there. It's one of those things to check out, but I thought I'd share this with you because I've actually found myself using it a whole lot more than I normally do. Um, so that's it for now. Hope you found that useful. If you did, do that like thing. And if you're into Godot stuff, do that subscribe thing if you haven't already and uh, blah, blah, blah. So see y'all later. Goodbye.